This is Life Sciences Paper 1 from November 2022. We've done with the multiple choice questions. Now we're going to move on to biological terminology. This should go quite quickly. Make sure that you get the correct terminology or definition. The part of the cell that protects the brain, we're looking at the part that we commonly call the skull, but more correctly in life sciences, this is called the cranium. Also, you're not going to have the answer as being skull if it mentioned the word skull in the question. So you need to be looking for a different word for skull, which is cranium. The homeostatic process whereby temperature is controlled in the body. We actually mentioned this a little earlier. That is thermo, relating to temperature, and regulation, which is where the control part comes in. The visual defect characterized by a cloudy lens. So when you look at the eye, and you look through the pupil of the eye, if that lens becomes clouded or cloudy, we see that the pupil does not look black. It looks like it's milky or cloudy. What do we call that visual defect? It is a cataract. The blood vessel that transports deoxygenated blood from the fetus towards the placenta. And that is going to be our umbilical vein. It carries, oh, sorry, the blood vessel that transports deoxygenated blood, the umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood, nutrient-rich blood from placenta to fetus, and the umbilical arteries carry deoxygenated, nutrient-depleted blood from the fetus back to the placenta. So we're looking here at the answer, umbilical arteries. The part of the brain that controls body temperature, that is the hypothalamus, which is this part of the brain, just above the pituitary gland. A branch of the nervous system that is made up of spinal and cranial nerves. Now this one's a little bit uh, confusing because cranial, you might think, belongs to the brain and spinal belongs to the spine. So you might think that the answer there is central nervous system. In fact, your cranial nerves are those that leave the brain and go to your sense organs like your eyes and your ears. And spinal nerves leave the spine and go to and from other parts of the body. So here our answer is peripheral nervous system. Finger-like projections that develop from the outer membrane of an embryo after implantation. So there's our little blastocele with its little hollow ball of cells. And here is the endometrium. We're going to see finger-like projections attaching our uh, embryo to the endometrium. What are these finger-like projections? They come from the chorion, so we call them chorionic, and any finger-like projections are called villi. So the singular is villus, but there are many of them, so it's the chorionic villi. A hormone that regulates salt 
levels in the blood. You have got antidiuretic hormone and aldosterone in relation to working with the kidney and controlling water and salt levels. And the salt levels are controlled by aldosterone. The fluid that protects the developing embryo or fetus against mechanical injury, we're looking at the fluid directly surrounding the fetus, and that is amniotic fluid. The area of the retina that contains the highest concentration of cones and remember the cones are there for your color vision and that would be the direct focal point of the lens and it is called the fovea. Sometimes in textbooks it's called the yellow spot but its correct biological term is fovea.